phenomenological research is an interesting and relatively new approach to research in social sciences. In today's presentation, we will have a brief introduction to the concept of phenomenology in general, to phenomenological research, and to the objectives of phenomenological research and the general process of phenomenological research. So first, phenomenology, a general definition and background. Uh, generally, phenomenology is a complex philosophical term which is defined variously by philosophers and researchers. The general definition of the concept is that it is the study of people's experiences from their own first-hand perceptions and descriptions. So, what are people's actual experiences about situations and how do they interpret or describe those experiences? Um, the focus of phenomenology is generally to get insights into human consciousness based on individual experiences rather than generating general theories. So the focus basically, in generally in social science context, the research focus is on the generation of theories for broader generalization. But in phenomenology, the things are a bit different in terms of uh, its focus on the particular situations or experiences in particular situations and, the, and actually getting insights into human consciousness um, on an individual level uh, in order to understand certain phenomena in certain specific situations. Uh, the emphasis of phenomenology basically is subjectivity or personal interpretation of phenomena. Uh, the focus is on the particular or specific rather than the general. And as a result, bracketing is an important concept of phenomenology, which actually means that while um, in researchers who are conducting phenomenological studies, they will generally bracket preconceived um, notions of phenomena or theoretical knowledge, and as a result, um, even hypotheses are in a way bracketed, which are based on preconceived knowledge or theoretical knowledge. Then, seeing and perceiving reality through the eyes and ears of the participants. In other words, what insights participants, research part participants or participants in a particular phenomena have, what real individual um, uh, perceptions of reality do participants have, those are the perceptions that those are actually the insights that the researchers are interested in, the phenomenological researchers are interested in. The important pioneers include, uh, of phenomenology include philosophers such as Husserl and Heidegger and Sartre. Then, um, phenomenological research in particular is uh, is a branch of social science research that follows the principles of phenomenology to explore phenomena. Qualitative social science research that focuses on exploring and describing the essence of people's experiences of phenomena. Um, so the central question around which phenomenological research revolves are questions such as how someone experiences a particular phenomena 
and how they construct their meanings of those experiences. Um, again, to reiterate the point, the focus is on personal perspectives or interpretation of phenomena. So we will have some examples in order to understand uh, what do we uh, mean by these interpretations of phenomenological research. Um, and so there are, these are example questions uh, in order to elaborate on the central concepts of phenomenological research. Uh, questions such as, what is the essence of a phenomena such as tragedy or death of a loved one for someone? So we have general theoretical understandings. We have general understandings of, of tragedy, what, what happens during tragedy to people. But what is the essence of a tragedy such as the death of a loved one for someone? Um, individually, that is something that, phenom that that is a question of phenomenological research. Then, what are people's feelings when they achieve something extraordinary um, in a particular context? How does, for example, this is another example of a phenomenological question, how does divorce impact the emotional well-being of people? How do members of third gender, for example, experience life in a traditional society? In all of these questions, um, the, the next question, uh, example question is, what does being a cancer patient mean to people? So in all of these, uh, in order to respond phenomenologically to these questions or using phenomenology as a research design, um, the most important thing that the researchers will do is to bracket their preconceptions or their previous theoretical understandings of these experiences through which people actually pass and to look, look at, at, at the essence of these experiences um, as, as first hand and in an exploratory way rather than a, in a confirmatory way that is generally done in, in most social science research. The general methodological considerations um, are very similar to other qualitative research in general. So generally the uh, the phenomenological research designs or processes follow general qualitative research processes. The approach to inquiry is in, in phenomenological research is inductive approach, which actually means going from the particular to the general. Uh, uh, in other words, not beginning with the with the theory or with with testing theories but actually <clears throat> the other way around, developing theories based on, on inductive examples. Smaller samples, generally, uh, participants in phenomenological studies uh, could range from one to 15 in generally. Uh, uh, so smaller samples are selected in phenomenological studies. The data collection could be in the form of interviews or focus groups could be in the form of uh, participant observations or discussions or textual analysis such as analysis of letters and diaries and other uh, reflective journals. The data analysis is generally done again inductively. Um, so thematic analysis or qualitative content analysis could be used um, for data analysis in phenomenological studies. And ethical considerations such as confidentiality, anonymity, and informed consent are important considerations in the general methodological considerations of phenomenological studies. Um, and 
generally naturalistic or inductive the generalizations so as we know that generalization of the findings is not generally the aim of phenomenological studies but as in general qualitative studies there is a way of generalizing findings in certain situations and that is called naturalistic or inductive generalization in other words the generalization of uh, insights from particular situations is left to the discretion of the readers um, who can get insights into particular situations in order to understand other similar situations um so here are some certain suggested readings that uh, you can read for further um understanding of the concepts of phenomenological research